So what we're talking about now is is the federal government coming in and deciding for themselves what they're going to provide out here. Yes, to allow one permit to provide all of these food and bev services. Congressman Matt Gates says the federal government is looking to regulate Crab Island in a way he explains could shut down nearly 100 small business owners. The National Park Service proposal for a commercial services strategy would seemingly take the place of at least 88 independent vendors already on the island. How are you guys doing? Good. You're good. This guy put himself and his, and his brother yep. through college on this business. Those vendors would still be allowed to work, but they would have to move their floating businesses to nearby deeper waters off of Crab Island outside the current federal waters. The federal jurisdiction starts as you as you get closer to the shallow water. So here, here you are just sort of on the west side of the principal boat traffic, and this would be the type of area where that person selling Domino's pizza could come and legally operate, but they would be operating in the most unsafe conditions you could possibly imagine. In a letter to the Department of Interior, Gates says the plan would not only impact the economy, but also be detrimental to the safety of visitors. He wants the proposal shut down. Well, so these people will, will have to go? They will, they will be out of business, uh, or they will be setting up businesses in the least safe possible conditions out here. The worry is that in these areas where we are right now, um, visitors will not fully appreciate the torrent currents, the changes in elevation that occur very quickly um, underneath us. Right here. And, and yeah, I mean, you could literally have a, a jurisdictional no man's land here that would allow commercial activity, but that would be baiting people into their own drowning. You're really just taking away the bedrock of small business. Destin Mayor Bobby Wagner says the current vendors are self-regulated. This change, he says, could see significantly negative economic impacts. The whole industry has come together to try to do as much as they can to regulate themselves for the betterment of their guests, for their businesses. And so now that we're finally working together, you know, big government's coming in here telling us that we're not doing enough and they have a better plan for us. We're waiting now to find out from the National Park Service where the proposal stands today. The many small vendors we spoke with, though, say they'll most likely close down before working in the deeper waters. I'm Tanner Stewart reporting.